Well, like any good watch collector does, the game quickly changes to a strap habit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I found a great way for you to grab a bunch of straps to really change up your watches and do it on the cheap. Yeah, so you can get a whole rack of straps real cheap like I did. Uh, you're going to want to look for Julong Strap Company, uh, and they're on AliExpress. And the prices are going to vary widely, and I'll go into that a little later in the video. But first, I'm going to show them to you. But um, basically, you can get these straps definitely under $10 each, um, and really cheaper than that if, if you look around. Again, I'll explain that towards the end. Uh, but first, I want to take uh, some time to roll through... Uh, couple of different colors and two different varieties of these FKM straps from Julong. So this bad boy is probably the reason that I got into a strap game. <laughs> That's why this Tropic strap is already on the Vostok because this just fits the watch so perfectly. I'm gonna show it to you on a couple different colors too. Uh, this one looks great, but um, you can just see here the quality. Here's the underside and you've got uh, really no burrs here on the sides and that nice ridged edge and then you've got the uh, diamond pattern and then all the multiple holes for breathability and the center ones obviously will be your uh, for your tang so a wide variety of sizes and this thing is just I mean it's so tough and durable uh, it just it just feels so dense and thick yet it's soft it's really hard to explain but it's just a good quality FKM strap. And here it is in green to play off of that dial. Just a beautiful look. I mean, you know, the black is just the classic, I think, in these straps. And uh, definitely a variety of watches uh, that will easily uh, entertain. But once you start playing off of dial colors, man, you bring it into a, a whole another level. So, uh, you know, it doesn't match exactly here, but uh, you see the hue, right? It's just uh, very easy to play off the colors. And even if you step away from uh, the main colors and uh, go on to a different variety, you see the red on the seconds hand and the red on the bezel. Even that is enough to really kind of, you know, add a little pop and a little splash and uh, make it tie in. I mean, that's a whole, that's a completely different watch now, right? Let me show you the underside too. Uh, so for this watch, the, uh, you know, it's got quick release spring bars, obviously, and they're pretty fat. Uh, they're not the, uh, like, super thick heavy duty, you know, they're not the uh, the fat boys, but pretty good thickness and uh, I haven't had a problem with durability uh, so on the uh, Vostok you see that the uh, the spring bar holes sit pretty far out um, but the lug deepness is not that thick and uh, this is kind of hard for you to see but there's a see there's a little bit of tension uh, but even with that it's no extra wear on the uh, strap and it fits nice and snug so just a Really great spot uh, where those uh, uh, spring bars are set on the strap. And here's the same strap on a different watch, again, playing off the red on the bezel and uh, inside the uh, the watch there on the Riot, the chapter ring with those red 24-hour markers. Just a, a great look and uh, perfect for divers, these things are, definitely. Uh, but I'll try and show you on some other watches as well. First, let me show you uh, another FKM. This has all been the Tropic style strap so far. Let me show you their Summit style strap. Okay, so this uh, kind of waffle pattern here is their Summit style strap. So you can see uh, the texture here in that center. It's got a raised uh, pad there. So this section is lower than the top part here. It's hard to, there you go. See that just a little bit of a raise. And then inside that raised section is this uh, waffle texture and uh, stainless steel uh, buckle. This is brushed. Um, I think that's their uh, most popular is brushed, but I believe that you can find them in uh, black PVD. Um, and they may have some uh, polished ones as well. I cannot remember. Again, link to follow towards the end. Uh, but what's nice about this strap, so the only bummer part is there's no breathability uh, as far as any extra holes go. Um, but look at this. See how the uh, the holes for the tang are at an angle? See at that 45 degree angle? You don't notice it from the top side, but underneath they're already headed in the direction that you um, will put in your, your tang. So it's less um, wear on those holes. So very cool design. And then the next cool thing is that, um, so you got two floating keepers and the one that uh, will be closest to the edge has got a locking feature. 
So you see here on the underside of the outer, see that little octagon shape there on underneath the top side? That slides into that octagon hole there. And here's that same strap on a white dial watch with uh, kind of the, got the um, the vintage looking, uh, you know, antique white or yellow uh, loom pips on the, uh, on the indices. So I was playing off of that there. And just a good look, huh? The yellow looks nice. And here's that keeper. So you can see it's not really going anywhere. I mean, it's easy too. If you want to get it off, it's very easy. But just in your normal everyday wear, uh, as you're moving about, you often won't, you know, look down and find that thing up here because it's locked in place. So I'll just let the music roll now and show you a few different straps and then come back at the end and explain the uh, link for the pricing. Okay, so you've seen enough color varieties and variations. Uh, so let me just tell you more about the pricing now. So uh, as you saw in the video description, you can get these for under $10, uh, definitely, right? But as is the case with AliExpress, you know, so many times a seller will have one product for sale, multiple different listings, and they're all different prices. So even though my description link down below, which is an affiliate link for AliExpress, is from Julong Watch, if you keep searching in their store, you'll find multiple uh, listings of the same exact strap. That's the one downside of AliExpress that I really hate. It's not just uh, Julong Straps that does this. It's uh, tons of vendors uh, all across the platform. So you can find a different price, You know, some with free shipping, some without. So that's gonna be the case with this strap as well. I'll leave you a link that I think is the best one, but just know that it could change for your location. Uh, it could change for whether there's a sale or not. So again, once you click on the link, just use that as a starting point to know that you're uh, looking at the exact same strap that I've shown you here, but then still search within Julong Shop uh, to see if there's a better price uh, because you can't just click and go with AliExpress. You still have to shop around if you want the best deal. So I've seen these anywhere from seven to $9 and change. Uh, and then some with free shipping, some without free shipping, where you have to pay 2 or $3 for shipping. So, again, just look. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a variety of these straps and their versatility from watch to watch. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button for me. It really helps out. Love to have you comment down below, too. And if you're into budget watch collecting, man, I'd love to have you along as a subscriber so you can see more videos that I have to share with you. Until next time, I'm Wit with so many watches and straps. So little time and money.